for this, we need to graph the set on a number line, and we're going to write the set using interval notation. So to start this off, uh, we have this right here. So we know that our x is going to be between 1 and 4, because it has to be greater than or equal to 1, and it has to be less than 4. So whenever we have a greater than or equal to or a less than equal to sign, we are going to use this close dot right here. And you can th think of it like, well, we have this sign plus this. So since there's more here, there's more volume to this circle, to this dot. And then if it's just less than or greater than, we're going to use this open circle. And so for this entire left side, we're going to plot it right here. For this right side, we're going to plot it right here. And then the x can be anything in between here. So that is how the number line would work. And now we're going to look at this part right here. So we need to write in interval notation. Well, whenever we have a less than equal to or greater than equal to, we're going to use the bracket right here. And you can think of it, well, we have this straight line under here and this bracket is straighter than this parenthesis. So that's how I particularly look at it. And so when we write this out, we know that we are going to have a bracket. We're going to have a comma and then we're going to have a parenthesis. It goes up to but does not include the 4 and then it goes to and touches the 1 and we read this from left to right. So that is the answer and that is how we would go about looking at this problem.